what do you think, Freeberg? Explain to the audience why this is important and, and what's transpired well, I, I since mean, we talked about long, it four years ago. There's been a long challenge in biochemistry on understanding or predicting or visualizing the three-dimensional structure of, of proteins. Because remember, proteins are produced by long chains of amino acids. And those amino acids are kind of create like a bead, beaded necklace, and then the, the whole necklace collapses on itself in a very specific way. And that three-dimensional molecule, that big chunky protein does something structurally, physically. And so trying to understand the shape of a protein is really hard. I mean, we've used kind of x-ray imaging systems to try and identify it and tried to build models to identify how does that quote protein folding work? How do those amino acids collapse on each other to create that three-dimensional construct? And if, I don't know if you guys remember in the early 2000s, there was a Stanford folding at home distributed computing project. Do you guys remember this? Yeah. It would use people's machines and extra CPU like the study at home project to precisely yeah, do this exactly soon. right. Yeah. So it's like it ran on the background of your computer, it used your CPU cycles when you weren't using your computer, and it tried to model protein folding. And so this has been a, a problem that folks have tried to tackle with compute for decades to figure out the 3D structure. This is so important because if we can identify the 3D structure of proteins and we can predict them from the amino acid sequence, we can print out a sequence of amino acids to make a protein that does a specific thing for us. And that unlocks this ability for humans to create biomolecules that can do everything from binding cancer to breaking apart pollutants and plastics to um, you know, uh, creating entirely new molecules to running in some cases like what David Baker did at University of Washington, he shared the Nobel Prize, creating micro motors, mini motors hmm. from proteins that he designed on a computer. And so this becomes, I think, this great like big holy grail in biochemistry and the AlphaFold project at, at DeepMind inside of Google solved this problem. And, and by the way, since, since then, they've come out with AlphaFold 3. Yep. They've launched a drug discovery company called Isomorphic Labs, where they're basically predicting molecules that will do specific things for a target indication. Uh, and then they use the AlphaFold models to actually design and develop those molecules. And there have been literally dozens of companies that have been started since DeepMind was published and probably several billion dollars of capital that's gone into companies that are creating new drugs, creating new industrial biotech applications, using this protein modeling capability that was unleashed with DeepMind a yeah. number of years ago. So it really has transformed the industry. It'll be a couple of years before we see it transform the world, but uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting kind of thing, yeah.